Hello everyone. In today's class, we are going to see how to create simple minimalistic poster using out of Photoshop. In this poster, we are going to see how to create shape masking and how to create text. So let's start. Let's see how to create simple minimalistic poster using shape masking. Open Photoshop, go to file and create new document. Give this size which I have given here. Just press OK. Now go to the layer section and unlock the background layer. Let's create minimalistic poster like this. Now go to text tool, select the text tool option and just give one click in the document. Now start typing the text which you want. Let's type the same content which we have in the sample poster. Select the text, press Ctrl A in the keyboard to select overall text. You can also change the size in the menu section. To change the text using shortcut, you can press Ctrl plus Shift greater symbol to increase the text size, Ctrl plus Shift lesser symbol to decrease the text size. Go to Move tool and select the text and place it in the center. Select the S letter by using text tool, click and drag the letter and change the size using the shortcut called Ctrl plus Shift lesser symbol to decrease the text size. Now press text tool again and give Ctrl A to change the text color. You can see the text option in the text color option in the menu section and give any color you need. Go to the shape tool, the shortcut is U. Just click and drag, press shift in the keyboard to create a perfect square shape. After that, use move tool and select the shape, place it aside. Now go to file, let's place an image. The image got placed in the document. Now select the image, right click and give create clip masking. Now select the image and press Ctrl T in the keyboard. Use Shift and Alt to scale the image. Now press Enter again. Use Shift and select both the layers and give group from layers. Just give OK. Now your layers got grouped. Now let's give drop shadow for that group. Double click the group and you can see a layer style option opens up. There give drop shadow effect and apply the distance spread size which I am giving here and just give OK. Let's duplicate the layer again to place an another image. So right click, give duplicate group. Give control T and drag and place it aside. Let's open the group, right click the image, delete layer to place an another image. Go to file, give place. Let's select an another image and give place. Now use Ctrl T and scale it. Use Shift and Alt to scale the image and right click the image and give create clip masking. Or else press Alt in the keyboard and go in between the layers and just give click. Your image will get clip masked with the shape. Use Move tool and adjust the image. Now select the group again and press Ctrl J for duplicate. Now let's rename the group as group 3. Open the layer, select the layer and press Ctrl T. Let's move it using Move tool. 
Now open the layer, select the image, delete it. Let's place uh, another image. Go to file and place the image again. Let's select this image and give place. Use shift and hold, scale it overall. Press enter and right click the image and give create clip masking. Use move tool and adjust the image. Now let's select any two groups and let's give duplicate. Let's select these two groups and give Ctrl J for duplicate. Now press Ctrl T and move it to the bottom and press enter. Now select the top group and press shift in the keyboard and press the bottom group. You, you can see there all groups got selected. Now press Ctrl G for group. Now your all groups will be in the single group layer. Now let's create a text. Go to the tools option and select text tool. Now let's create a text. For that just click and start typing. Let's type name. Now this is the important option that is called character panel. It's over there in the menu section. Select it, you can change anything you need like uppercase, lowercase, strike through, bold, italic, stuff like that. Go to more tool and adjust the text. Right click the text layer and give duplicate layer and let's rename it as record. Now press Ctrl T in the keyboard, drag and drop it using arrow keys in the keyboard. Now let's rename it. Go to text tool and select it. Press Ctrl A and give delete and start typing as record. Now go to character panel again. Now let's change it as italic. And let's give open brace and close brace. Now give Ctrl A from bold to normal. Go to move tool again. Select both the layers, text layers and give Ctrl G. Now let's rename it as name1. Now we have to duplicate the text group. So give Ctrl J in the keyboard and use arrow keys and move it to the next shape. Do the following process till you complete all the 5 shapes. Just press Ctrl J for the duplicate. To move the group, go to the move tool, select it and you can move the group. Now you can see there we got all the text. Select the top group and select the bottom group using shift and press Ctrl G in the keyboard to group all the text layers. Now let's change the background color. So for that select the background layer, double click the foreground color. You can see there we got the color panel option. Now you can select any color you need and just press OK. Now go to the tools panel and select paint bucket option. Just one click your color gets changed. You can also use foreground and background to change the color. For that for foreground color all plus backspace for background control plus backspace. This is how we create minimalistic poster using shape masking in Photoshop. I hope the video was useful. Thank you.